everyone, welcome back. Today I'm doing this beautiful gold and red fall inspired tutorial. First I'm going to start off with the champagne base. Next I'm going to pack on this white gold eyeshadow and just keep placing it on the lid until I get the intensity of the color that I want. Now I'm taking this red brown and I'm going to put this on the inner crease and the outer crease. I'm doing what's called a snow globe effect. So you're placing the shadow on the inner corner and the outer corner in the crease, not in the middle. Then I'm taking a blending brush and I'm just going to blend across the whole crease just to start blending out the crease color. Now since the color is starting to look more faded together, we're going to start packing the eyeshadow on again onto the inner crease and outer crease, slowly building up the intensity. Now I'm taking this light brown shade and I'm using this as a transition color. So I'm going to start blending this right above the crease and taking my time making sure that it looks flawless. Now back to adding more color. We're adding more of the reddish brown to the inner crease and outer crease, but this time we're going to start working them together towards the center. Now to take this look a step further, I'm taking this dark chocolate brown with a little bit of shimmer and adding this into the crease. This is going to add depth and definition to the smoky eye that we're creating. Now taking a clean brush, I'm going to start blending the crease color that we just put in the brown into the eye and also up. I'm taking that dark red brown and also the light red brown and blending it on the lower lash line, then placing the white gold on the inner tear duct. Now for eyeliner, I'm using a gel eyeliner and I'm just going to line the top lash line as well as winging it out like I always do. If you guys would like a tutorial on how I wing my eyeliner, let me know in the comments below. highlight the brow bone. Then I'm going to use a brown liner just to line the waterline. Now for mascara, which is obviously a must, I'm just loading on lots of my favorite mascara. Now to finish the rest of the face, I'm using this matte bronzer just to contour the hollows of my cheeks. Then I'm taking NARS Madly Blush, which is a seashell pink, and I'm lightly blending that onto the apples and back. Now I'm going to take this highlight and just place it over my cheekbones and down the bridge of my nose. Now for a quick costume change, I am going to now do the lips. I'm using this Mavi Rose Lip Liner to manipulate the nude lipstick I'm going to place on top of it. So I'm taking Max Viva Glam Gaga 2 and I'm just going to dab the color and then start to apply it more heavily until I get it to the intensity that I want. I'm taking this nude gloss and just placing it right on top. So this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Good luck trying it out. If you try it out, tweet or Instagram me a picture. I would love to see it. As always, thank you for watching, and until next video, I will see you later. Take care.